Today we are going to do a spin flux example on heat exchangers. Here we have a heat exchanger design equation. Our planning to, we are planning to heat uh, ferrium uh, iron tail uh, into from 250 to 300 Kelvin and also in the hot side we have uh, this uh, ethyl uh, glycol, uh, ethyl glycol, and it's, uh, it's input flow. Uh, we don't know the input flow rate, but it has this input temperature is 370 Kelvin and uh, three pressure, and the output temperature is 315, and also the R12 is uh, the feed rate is uh, 12,000 and uh, input temperature is 250 and input pressure is 8 atmosphere and the output temperature is 300 so here we have the RTO and our uh, Italian glycol as a feed uh, so uh, here we are gonna calculate the U uh, and the area, heat exchanger area heat transfer coefficient the U and also we will calculate the other parameters and also uh, so let's do the problem on the using the husband class let's start new and we can go to the chemical process and a special chemical with the metric unit and you can create click the create button and so now we can feed the the components so here i wrote r12 and here i wrote italian and half and then glycol so let me use the method uh, that is the default method which is uh, and rtl then I can go to the uh, the parameters and then to the binary then here I can select uh, uh, just this will help me uh, to uh, avoid some I know annoying errors so I can click here to uh, estimate the missing parameter using the uniform meter so let's continue next button then we go to the simulation area let's go to the simulation area and so the first step would be just calculating the heat exchanger duty but here we don't have the heat exchanger duty but i can use uh, the component with morse i mean more specified component to calculate the heat duty then I can, it will help me to calculate the uh, the heat exchanger a transfer coefficient uh, U value heat exchanger area and also the other parameters and uh, so uh, so I can use the R field uh, just to calculate the heat duty so to do that let me start with the heat exchanger with normal heat exchanger you can use this normal heat exchanger the heater and so then i can calculate the heat exchanger dt uh, then i can uh, use that to that heat exchanger duty to calculate the other parameters on the uh, shell and tube heat exchanger so let's start and then let's uh, let me have the the input So the input temperature is you can see from here uh, for 
250 think temperature is 250 Kelvin and the pressure is 8 and the mass flow rate is I have this mass flow rate for R till is 3000 and so this mass flow rate and I can click the next button and so here I have the specification for the heat exchanger I can use here the temperature change that is it's the input is 215 the output is uh, 200 that means the change in temperature is uh, 50 uh, can be 3 degrees Celsius or can be uh, so the pressure drop is 0 0.1 this minus sign indicate that uh, so aspen plus consider this minus sign as a pressure drop so uh, 0.1 pressure drop and let's run the process or I can click the next button or I can run the process you can see that the uh, the output and and I'll here my objective is to calculate the heat exchanger duty uh, for the further uh, process or, or further calculations so the, we can see here we can see the results of it and here I can click on the heat exchanger and I can click on the result and I can go there and here I can check for in terms of the kilowatts around 180 the kilowatts so I can use this value, uh, the shell and the TV heat exchanger. So let me cancel, delete this thing, and then I, I can replace it with heat X. So it will let me to uh, heat X. It will allow me to uh, introduce uh, two input and two output. So that I would have this input that means our RTL and also I have uh, the Italian glycol uh, in and here the Italian glycol out and so and also I have this uh, are still up. So um, till pass. So now I can specify the operating parameters for uh, each input, and I have for the Italian glycol the temperature is always two hundred fifty Kelvin, and also the temperature the pressure is a atmosphere you can check from here uh, the 12,258 pressure let's continue have the mass flow rate is 12,000 and what I saw is done so I can uh, specify for the uh, Italian light bulb the input temperature is 370 Kelvin. Look here, the input is uh, 317 Kelvin with 3 atmosphere, and well, the pressure is 3 atmosphere. And I can select by randomly, I can give uh, 5000. This I can give randomly, then I can see the output temperature. And if that's not uh, the same as the output temperature, I can minimize or I can uh, maximize, increase the this floor. But for time being, let me take five thousand. Then we will check uh, the the output or the result. So so can uh, the. Um, the model fidelity is you can use this shortcut and uh, uh, the shortcut for flow direction 
because you can use the counter current it's up to you you can use also uh, current or depends on your design and so here we can select the heat, the exchanger duty and also I can copy paste the thing I found from the previous uh, simulation so now I can run the process or I can click on the next button but the other thing is let me just uh, click here Click on use the intervals analysis for low mean temperature different and then I can calculate I can run the process so see so um, okay so the result is available and let me go to the uh, the heater and let me see uh, the the output let me see these things in terms of Kelvin uh, well okay well it's, the hot stream is the input temperature is always uh, 317 and the output temperature is 317 so uh, but this is a little bit different than uh, because we are told that the output temperature is 317, uh, 315, but the, our calculated value is 317. So that uh, one thing we have to do is we have to minimize the the output, uh, the fluoride, the input fluoride of the tiling uh, like cover. Here the the cold stream the input temperature is 250 and the output temperature is always 300. And also we can see the balance. And the main thing we have to see is uh, there and the, here in the heat exchanger details. So here we can see the the calculated heat duty uh, and and also uh, we can see the the required exchanger area is here is key and the the, the actual heat exchanger area is also here and also you can see the u value and u a value so but uh, the, what we have to do is so we have uh, we have to go back and uh, and we can by training it here you can calculate the 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 fluoride to achieve uh, three hundred fifty uh, this this three hundred fifteen um, Kelvin. So uh, after after repetitive uh, trial and error, uh, so. Uh, So let me check for this uh, value, a fluorite, and let me see the, the output. And if I'm if I am able to uh, see that 350 uh, temperature output. Uh, so here is the cane, the cane 370. And uh, the output temperature is around 300, 314.98. Uh, you know, here you are on the status of checking the different way or approaching and a different way to achieve uh, this temperature. Uh, yeah, you are on the status, you can approach in your own way, and also uh, let me check the. This uh, heat DT, then the heat exchanger area in terms of square kilometer, square meter, and 